Yo, Kevin here. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be drifting again. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> I don't know if, uh, if, if, you've, if you've missed the video, um, but I've done my first drifting in probably about four or five years on this game. It was a lot better than I expected, to be honest. I expected it to be awful, uh, but we managed to do quite well. So I'm happy with that. Um, and because I've done so well, I thought today we are jumping into a drifting hopper. We're going to see what comes up, what track we get put on and see what happens. I, I don't expect to come first. Don't even, I expect to come last. Like literally I want to come last because that shows that I am pretty much rubbish. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be jumping in with S13 that we made in the last episode. So if you do want a car build, there is one in the last episode, but I'm not going to say it's a good car build because I pretty much just made it to learning. Um, so that's the S13. Uh, before we jump into the race, I just want to let you guys know that I will be streaming on Twitch. Um, most most evenings, obviously I work, um, so some evenings I'm a bit tired, so I don't stream. Uh, but if you check me out in the description below, uh, it's Twitch TV slash off my tolly, I think it is. Um, so yeah, just give that a follow and you'll be not notified when I next come live. So yeah, thank you very much, guys. We're going to go on to the multiplayer and we're going to try and find a drift hopper. I don't know if they could be very busy because it is so far into this game cycle now. Uh, this game like died about two years ago, but <laughs> we'll give it a go. Um, so yeah, see you in a sec. Okay, so I didn't know this was a thing, but this is an open drift lobby or something. Um, so apparently you just drop in whenever you want and you just sort of drift with the lobby. Um, so we thought that up, but I'll give it a go, see what it's all about. I don't know where my car was ghosted, to be honest. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much just an open drift lobby. Um, haven't seen anyone yet. Oh, I can see lights in the background there. Yeah, it's it's good time for me to obviously practice my drifting, uh, even if it is this open drift lobby. I I did see there was a points lobby, but I. Um, I pretty much started it up and there was about two people in the game and it wasn't, it wasn't good. Uh, it wasn't really content to watch. I know this game is pretty much dead, so I didn't really expect it to be that good. But in this lobby, there seems to be like 20 people or something crazy. So I thought this would be definitely better to hit up. Um, I do need to move my camera just give me a sec guys uh, I'll just pull over to the side here and I'll be back in a second because my drift points and my current lap are up there so I'll just be there back in a second okay there we go you can see my drift score up there now which is absolutely perfect um, I just need to sort that out that's all good um, and let's get back to the drifting so yeah little update for you guys I know a few of you are quite surprised to see me back uh, I'm surprised to be back myself uh, but, you know, with all these lockdowns and COVID and things, it made me realise. Why am I not doing something I want to do? Uh, YouTube was always something that I wanted to do. Like, it was so fun to do. And for some reason, I just gave it up. Like, obviously, I gave it up for bigger reasons. Like, I wanted to get a house. I wanted to focus on my career and things. But at the end of the day, this brought me, like, happiness, if you know what I mean. So it was like, why? That was very laggy. Um, but yeah, this brought me happiness, so I was just thought to myself, like, why am I not doing this in a time where mental health is crazy? Um, and like, COVID's trapping us in our houses and things. Why why am I not doing something like this? So, hope you guys appreciate that I am back. Um, I find it weird to be back, but we shall see. Oh, I'm going too hot into that. Oh, damn. So uh, I didn't see what track this was, but I'm assuming it's Spa. Spa? Oh, what track is this? I don't even know. <laughs> I'll have to look when it finishes. Uh, but yeah. More about me. Um, trying to find a wheel. Uh, obviously, when I was, used to make videos on here, I was drifting with the wheel on like, a set of Corsa and places. So I want to pick up a wheel again. Even using the wheel on this game would be really fun. Um, I no longer have a console. 
I always used to play on Xbox all the time. Uh, but yeah, no longer have a console. So I'm now just running PC. Um, so any like console games that you guys suggest me to play, most probably I cannot play them unless obviously they come out on PC, which most of them do. Uh, this isn't Spa, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why, but the end of the track made me feel like it was Spa. Um, but yeah, I think this is like a German track. I forgot what it's called now, but might see some signs as I go around. Uh, but yeah, picking up a wheel is going to be a massive step forward. Uh, I really want to get back on the wheel, getting back on a set of course, because obviously a set of course on the controller is just, it's not the best. Um, so yeah, well, I really want to pick up a wheel. Uh, I don't want to pay full price for it, if you know what I mean. Like, like when I used to do YouTube, um, it was worth picking it up because obviously I had a lot more of you guys active then, uh, a lot more views on every video. It was worth it. It was like an investment. But at the moment, seeing as I'm only just about breaking a hundred views, but it doesn't make sense to buy one outright just yet. But I am looking on like, you know, like the standard sort of sites like eBay, even like Facebook Marketplace and places like this. See if I can pick up a sec second hand one for kind of cheap. I thought that would be a good idea. Uh, but yeah, this open drift lobby is a bit weird at the moment. <laughs> I just sort of just drifted by myself, but it's a good episode because it's updating you guys where I've been. Uh, getting me concentrating on my drifting. A little bit of practice on my drifting as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys appreciate it. Uh, and also, I want to know about you guys. What what's going on in the world? Uh, what's happening to you now? It's obviously it's been about four or five years, I would say, <laughs> since the last Forza video, which is crazy to say. Um, but since then, like, what's going on? Like, how are you guys doing? I assume most of you, like, since it's been four or five years, most of you probably over eighteen now, maybe, and. Yeah, experiencing. I've done the same thing on the same corner. This lobby is laggy as hell. Uh, but yeah, let me know about you guys. Uh, get in the comments. Uh, let me know what you're doing now. Are you got the dream job that you wanted? Are you not working yet? Are you still in school? Or are you studying? Or what's going on? I wanna, I wanna know. So yeah, thank you to everyone that come out uh, on obviously on all the videos. There's a bloody F1 car in here. What is going on? Um, so yeah. Other than that. Uh, brought a house. Brought a house with my girlfriend. Uh, what else is there to say? Uh, new car. Ooh, new car. Uh, a lot of you may know. Like when I used to do YouTube. I had a 350Z. And by the end of YouTube, I went to a Ford Focus because I was uh, commuting probably about uh, probably about 100 miles a day to work and back, and I needed good miles per the gallon. Uh, but now I'm doing about 60 miles to work every day, um, so I've got a slightly better car. It's still still um, pretty pretty boring, uh, but it's a Seat IB4 FR. Uh, it's quite nippy to be fair, uh, it's, it's definitely an upgrade on the Ford Focus, Ford Focus was just lacklustre and just very boring, but it got me from A to B and it was cheap, so <laughs> that's all that I cared about, uh, but yeah, now I've got a Seat IB for, uh, FR, and uh, that car's fun to drive, like, they're not the biggest engine, I think mine's 1.2 I think it is, but then my Focus was 2 litre and this is faster than the 2 litre, uh, which is crazy to think about, but like nowadays, they're just making small engines and just slapping a turbo on it. But yeah, the Ibiza is so nippy. It's so fun to drive. Uh, still getting used to it. Like I've only recently bought it. Um, so still really getting used to it. The steering is strange for me because like, having these older cars, you could feel the car a lot more, if that makes sense. You could feel the weight of the car. But like I see at Ibiza, it's got this like electric power steering. 
it just makes it feel so light and like you can't feel what's going on around corners and things like this like you can't feel the weight of the car but that, that's something i'll probably get used to and learn throughout driving the car uh, but yeah this drifting has gone really well like are you guys watching this the only places i've messed up is on this corner up here which i'm going to take a lot earlier I've not actually like spun out, if you know what I mean, like just a standard spin out. I'm so happy with my drifting, like, I never thought it would be this good um, <laughs> after not drifting for so long. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, a little bit of a catch up, uh, a little bit about myself and obviously I want to know about you guys, get in the comments below. And yeah, I think I'm going to call it a day here because there's not much going on here. I'm literally just drifting the track by myself. Uh, but I'll try and find better lobbies next time. But the more I started talking, the more it sort of worked with the episode because I just started talking about myself. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. The socials are below. Follow my Twitch and all that good stuff. Uh, see you guys next time.